Hey Kitty, what happened to the Sundrayan space shuttle you were building? Mm, Kitty realized that's illogical. Well, logic will take you from point A to point B. But imagination will take you everywhere. So, let's set logic aside for a while and ponder this sizzling question. What if we landed on the sun? Zoom in! Alright, we all know that landing on the sun is next to impossible due to its super hot temperature, lack of solid ground and incredibly strong gravity. But let's imagine just for fun that science has managed to create a magical spaceship that can handle all these challenges and see what could happen next on a wild journey to touch down on the sun. Our journey begins 7 million to 10 million kilometers above the surface with the outermost layer of the sun, the corona, where temperatures soar to a blistering 1 million degrees Celsius and are thousands of times brighter than Earth. But fear not, our trusty spaceship comes prepared with a nifty heat shield that can tackle these problems. So let's venture further down to about 3000 kilometers above the surface to enter the sun's second layer the chromosphere. Here we are greeted by a breathtaking sight. Solar prominences, large bright loopy structures with temperatures of more than 10,000 degrees Celsius. Let's steer our spacecraft away from these burning rings to reach the next destination. Now, Brace yourselves for the next level of sun exploration, the photosphere, which is the surface that we see every day. But down here, the sun's gravity is so strong that if you weigh 150 pounds on Earth, you'd feel like a whopping 4,000 pound rhino. And guess what? We can't really land here because there's no solid ground to stand on as the sun is just a huge ball of gas. So if you decide to become the first person to step on the sun, you'll find yourself sinking deeper, hoping you won't land in gigantic black spots called sunspots. And where there's a sunspot, there's often a solar flare waiting to happen, releasing energy like 10 billion hydrogen bombs going off at once. Thus, it's definitely not a place we want to hang around. So it's better to steer ahead into the sun's interior. Just below the surface, you'll cross the convective zone where temperatures reach a staggering 2 million degrees Celsius, way hotter than anything our trusty space shuttle can handle. In fact, there's no material on Earth tough enough to stand up to this scorching inferno. But for the sake of our imagination, let's keep moving forward. Descending nearly 200,000 kilometers below the sun's surface, we arrive at the radiative zone, the thickest layer of our solar body. This zone stretches across almost half of the sun's entire radius, and the pressure down here is about 100 million times stronger than what you feel at sea level on Earth. It's so densely packed down here that there's hardly any room for light and it's pitch dark, so no point in sightseeing here. Let's move straight to the heart of the sun, the core. Yes, plunging 500,000 kilometers below the surface lies the sun's core, where the pressure surpasses 200 billion times than that at sea level, compressing atoms to 10 times denser than iron. Not just that, the temperatures hit a scorching 15 million degrees Celsius because 
almost all the sun's immense energy is produced here, making it the hottest spot in the solar system. This means it's better to keep a healthy distance from the sun. Trivia time! Did you know that the most heat-resistant material we have is tantalum carbide? Yes, it can withstand temperatures of up to 4000 degrees Celsius. It's sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Amishi. Hope you had a blast today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Where are you taking the sun, Rayan, kitty? To scrap, so. Never mind.